cause I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never captain space I won't stop till I hear him say up again i got tired eyes need a cup of blend that's right in the am that's my only friend no light just the sun coming up on the horizon i lose track of time yeah I move fast and climb a new class divine yeah true passion shines and i'm through passing time i choose stacking dimes you snooze half the time while i move passing by i work hard each and every day i get lost in the words i say i don't push pause no i push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say Forgot to unmute. What's up? Hey, guys. Long time no see. Hey, Miss Val. Hey, Sarah. Geneva. What's up, girlfriend? Hey, Rabbit. Sarah. Cindy, you made it. Cindy, I've been watching your lives every time you go live. I still can't chat in there. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's going to think I'm not here supporting, and I am. <laughs> but yeah, I just so you know, I've been there. I've been there, but yeah, I still can't chat. Sorry, y'all. I'm just hanging out with y'all. I get a little bit of makeup on, not much. I'm gonna go out in nature for a little bit with Princess, but need to do some makeup. Need to give out some membership. So turn your gift settings off and back on. Hey, summer days. How are you? Blue's talking. I got Debbie the pet lady playing in the background because she's losing her mind. Um. But yeah, turn your gift settings off and back on if you want some memberships because I've got 10 to give out. I actually have five more to give out, but stupid card that it's on is like I have to reorder a new card. So that's going to have to wait just a little bit. Yes, girl, I tried. I kept trying. And it was after my last stream when I said, everybody go over there, you know, that we're all going over there. It, I kept trying to chat. It wouldn't let me. So I don't know. It's okay. I mean, I'm, I know you try to fix it before. There ain't no telling. Hold on, let me turn this fan on because I'm already burning up. I'm already burning up. Geneva, how you doing, girl? How things been in your hellhole being stalked by mosquito? <laughs> I've been catching snippets here and there, and I'm like, this lady's lost her ever loving mind. This lady has lost her mind to sit here and say what people can or can't talk about when she talks about everything under the sun and talk about have some respect for someone passing. Talk about the animal. You have more respect for an animal passing than you do a person. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. And let's talk about that too. Um, can I, can y'all please stalkers, not you guys in the bushes, stalkers, you know, cause I know y'all are devoted to your job. Can you please find the clip where I said I'm trying to make money off of real passing? You know, it's going to be difficult to find. I know you will find a clip of me saying I demonetized a video where I talked about it uh, when I first found out. And if I do a memorial video, that will be demonetized too. Uh, but supposedly I'm planning to make all this money off of my friend's passing. Good to know. I had no idea that took place. So maybe, I mean, you know, my memory is shot. 
Maybe you can help me out here. Please find that clip. Gypsy Rose was put on house arrest because she kept violating her probation, parole, whatever, because she was talking to Nick through a friend and talking to other felons. She's not allowed to do that. So, yeah, that's she did get in trouble. She did get in trouble. And she actually, there's messages proving that she got in big trouble by her uh, PO. But if you saw my little clip about Katie Joy announcing the gender, that's still effed up. And like I said, y'all, I've talked about this. I do not like Gypsy Rose. She is more involved in the passing of her mother than y'all even think. She was in the room, whether you like it or not. Okay? So take that how you want. She she is the evil mastermind behind all of it. And I don't give her no passes. And she doesn't deserve all the glorifying people have done of her. But that's that's coming to an end about time. But anyways, she still should not have announced the baby's gender. Nobody should take that from the mother or the father, no matter how you feel about the person. That's their, their stuff to put out. I, I just can't understand that. But let me give you some get some memberships real quick, y'all. I told y'all, hold on. I told y'all I'll be here early next time I go live because it I will be giving out memberships. So let me go and do that for you guys. Okay, I just gifted five. Hey, Randy, how are you? She did, Randy. She said to an interviewer, she didn't even think about leaving. She she thought her only option was to do what she did. Wendy, Rabbit, Bliss Chris, Selfie Queen, and Suzanne, y'all got memberships. Perfect people. Have y'all seen Generator's channel? How do you, Have y'all paid attention to Generator's channel? Y'all understand he's got 10,000 subs now, and he's got over 3 million views our, our friend Generator has 3 million views on his channel, which is amazing, but this sucks because he's not monetized yet. Can you imagine if he was monetized, the good, like the amount of money that could come to him and his missus? If you don't know, y'all, Generator um, is disabled. He's partial paraplegic. He did, and is in a wheelchair, so it's a lot of it's on his wife. It would do so much good if we could get him monetized. Whose birthday? Whose birthday? I better, I better not. If it's Generator's birthday, we got to have a birthday, but I didn't know. Hey, Rabbit. You're welcome. You're welcome to the ones that got memberships. Generator's doing amazing. He, last I knew, he was, he, look, he's been going through some stuff, y'all. So I have been, not, I've been leaving it alone because I don't want to get him. He doesn't need the drama and the BS. He doesn't. And he want to take a step back. And so he doesn't need the crap. So he's just working on his channel, but his channel, his computer had messed up again, so he wasn't able to like mod or anything for a while. But he's still managing mod on my channel. We're we're fine. I just, but I miss him. I miss his interactions. If it's his birthday, okay. I don't want to miss his birthday. Yeah, generator, generator. If you're listening, which he usually is, generator, you've got to do your monetization, bud. You've got enough to do you've got to get monetized and i know he doesn't want like he's like he doesn't see the like it's not it was not the top of his list of things to do but generator for the missus you gotta do it for the missus like i am so proud of you though so proud of you yeah let's do a happy birthday just in case i haven't heard if it's his birthday but just in case it is y'all let's do it the happy birthday one second and Brooks knows I've been trying to get a hold of her and see how she's been doing. Uh, I saw in selfies that y'all said she was going through some stuff. So I try to reach out a few times and, but you know, she's working during the time I'm usually messaging. So I haven't been able to get a hold of her just yet. Hold on. Let me find my beat. Okay. Let's say happy birthday to our friend generator guys.
There we go. Hey, Sophie, how are you? Thank you, guys. I, I don't think everybody got the message. We're supposed to be wishing Jenner a happy birthday, but it's okay. It's okay. Thank you, everyone that helped. But I, I've seen some of the crap going down. Like, Dudley, I can't keep up with who's cool with him, who's not cool with him one day to the next. I mean, it changes about 50 times a day, in my opinion. Um, I will say... I don't even know. You know what? I might just say it on members only, which is why I'm giving out memberships because I'm going to be doing a lot more members only content. There's already some over there if y'all that you haven't seen. Again, turn on your your memberships off and back on because I'm about to give five more memberships, and that will help enhance your chances of getting it. Oh my god! I'm doing my eyebrows real quick, but. You're not cool with him. I don't even know why y'all fell out, but girl, just better off without. You know what I mean? Oh, is that what it is, Summer? No, she's saying she's not cool with uh, Dudley. I guess think people need to leave him alone at this point. You know, leave him alone. The people who are glutton for punishment, fine, go over there. But others, just leave it be already. Hey, JJ. Hello, hello. Good to see you. Y'all, and I'm sorry I haven't been live too much. I hate to say I, I was going to go live the other day, but then I had to go take Francis out to get some more school clothes. Like, just to get, I, what is happening with the world? Just to get five t-shirts, like at Marshall's, $100 for five freaking, just t-shirts. Not nothing fancy, fancy. Just like that is insane. So, but anyways, I was out doing that. So I couldn't, I was too tired by the time I got home. Thank you, Tinhead. Generator, if you watch this later, Tinhead says happy birthday. He became friends with Bambi and Pam and I wasn't cool enough. What how did that even take place though? Oh Lord. That lady, I, I don't I won't look. Y'all know I won't be over there. I don't hang out with slurs. So like people that use slurs. I, I that's not my jam. So I you know, but that nothing nothing lost. It's insane the the price of everything, y'all. I was talking to the Uber driver the other day. I was like, it is crazy because now it's just as expensive to eat at fast food than it is a restaurant, but it's cheaper to eat at a restaurant than it is to cook home cooked, like to do home cooked meals these days. How is it? How did we get so backwards? I, I agree. So I agree. All right. Let me give you all some more memberships, y'all. All right, here we go. Slot machine who's gonna get it <laughs> randy yes randy got gifted 10 head km books consult that's kendra right mert holly's hobby there we go that's the membership and again i got five more to give out y'all i just my card so y'all remember how i kept getting those transactions that like your cash up those alerts about the, you know they declined the transaction my card's locked and it says to review it and let them know if it's you or not. Well, I kept hitting decline on the ones that are not me, obviously. And it locked me out of using it on my Google Pay unless I upload a valid ID, which my ID just went got expired on my birthday. So I got to go get that taken care of next week. But my ID just got expired on my birthday. So I can't even verify it's me to put it back on my. So anyways, that's why I can't do the five right now. I hope you understand. But I will take care of it. It is. It's, it's insane, JJ. And like, it's just a mess. It's a mess. Do you know just to order? Well, I'll give you a little insight. The last time I ordered from DoorDash, I just got Taco Bell, right? I got Mia Combo. I got Princess, one of those Crunchwrap Supremes, and the two drinks. $50. What world? And the, I have Dash Pass, to be clear. I have the Dash Pass. So where the hell... Or all these prices but here's the thing if you go to taco bell on their website and look at the menu prices on their like their website and compare it to the prices on the doordash they up it a couple bucks on every little item that's how they're getting their money with with that like so you're paying doordash pass to not have the extra fees but they're still getting the extra money through upping prices it's bullshit so it's like there's no winning there's no winning but I heard that someone got a little huffy puff about me getting my daughter art supplies, by the way. Why do you care? 
Why do you care? The police have been at your house 10 times just this year alone. 10 times just this year alone. Uh, stop focusing on my life already. Like, we don't have that issue over here. We don't. So get a grip. Focus on shit that actually makes a difference. It is daylight robbery. I, and I kid you not, I could show y'all. Look, let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it. So just because, you know, she's a liar. As they always say, I proof of everything. By the way, on my top tier, I was going through all my, um, I was going through all my keepsakes. So I have like a suitcase with photo albums, my children's artwork, all sorts of stuff. And I have it keeping in the suitcase as well. My daughter's friend was staying the night with us a few days ago. And she's like, can we look at baby photos of princess? It's like, sure. Which, which is weird because when I was a kid, I didn't give a damn about someone's baby photos, but they wanted to look at them. Anyway, so I was going through it and I found the ultrasound for the baby I lost uh, from, you know what, that people keep saying my daughter is DW as well. I had the ultrasound from that baby that I lost and the ultrasound from my daughter that are two years apart. So yeah, I can prove to you that I'm telling the truth, but I don't know if I'm going to upload it or not. But if I do decide to do that, it will be on, it will be on the top tier because everybody else kissed my butt. No, I'm just kidding. But let me, let me sign in real quick. Mr. F U, how are you? Hey, hey Reagan, how are you? Girl, right? Used to, if you cooked a home cook, like a, um, a home cooked meal, you're good. Like you can make it last for weeks. Not the whole, not, not one meal. I mean, if you got groceries to cook meals, you can make it last a week now. Uh, 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 uh. It's insane. Well, that is some BS. That is some BS, you know. $10 for a 12-pack of soda. See, I look, y'all know I love my soda. I had to do sweet tea only right now. Under $70 for 30 items and no expense meat or anything. Right. Let's just say ramen noodles is saving everybody's life right now. <laughs> Miss Joanna. Thank you. Let's do a little video to for Miss Joanna. Can y'all tell just just love Miss Joanna right now? Thank you so much, Miss Joanna. You don't as always, you don't need to do that. Thank you. Oh, because I say the N-word. Oh, because I see that I use racist lip. So what? Everybody yes. you, it doesn't matter. Oh, let's order exactly. pizza. Oh, I'm ordering a pizza. I order wrong pizza or I order five. Oh, I got pizza. breaking Who news. Cares? I have to tell you, like, it's okay that you chain smoke in your little cottage and, and your cats probably have lung cancer. It's totally fine. But Moose can't do it. That Canadian guy can't do it. You guys, leave John and Cody alone. Leave us alone. I, huh? Somebody trying to live their life in peace. Oh my God. Hold on. You're hold on. Your 80-year-old grandmother again? Oh, you guys, you guys are killing his grandfather. You're killing them. You're killing him. You know, I gotta go back. They said, uh, you know, we need the money. No, I don't, oh, it's okay. You know, no, they you, bring them. You guys are, put the hammer down. Let me see something. Let me talk over it and ruin it. <laughs> sorry. 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 No. no, no yeah. 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 Oh, it's God. just, it's, okay? it's, I'm sorry. It's just, it's so, it's so much. Oh, yo, do you, do you have allergies? Do you have something in your nose? Oh, uh, yeah. It's just, uh, it's just, it's you a know, lot going on here. I'm so proud of you. Last night, you were like the voice of reason. Right. That shit makes me laugh every time. Sorry, we're in my bathroom now. I got to do my eyeliner real quick. That makes me laugh so much. Jolene, I mean, I'm sorry, but Jolene's best work was the squirrel. Hold on, y'all. I got to focus. I don't want to poke my eye out. Miss Joanna, how you doing though, hon? If you missed it, Generator's channel is doing amazing. He's got 10,000 subs and over 3 million views on his channel, which is so badass. And I'm so happy for my friend. So happy for my buddy. But if he, like he, like I said, he took a little break from it. I don't blame him one bit. So, um, JJ, here's the thing. Y'all, wait, what's wrong, Miss Joanna? 
message me on TikTok so we can talk about it. If you want, if you want, that is, I mean, I'm about to be out and about, but I'll be, I'll be in my phone to, you know, talk to you about it if you would like. You, you subbed a generator too? Me too. I'm, I'm proud of him. He does, like I said, he is such a good guy. He deserves it. He really does. And our friend Sam is dealing with some bullshit that pisses me off. Um, he needs some love and support right now. So if y'all can step to his channel, just people being haters, look, hating bitches ain't happy and happy bitches ain't hating. Okay. So if they're hating, they're just miserable. Um, but JJ, to your comment, it's uh, Lindsay, the one who don't talk about the cat in the wall while she talks shit about my fucking kids. Bitch. I ain't got no sympathy for you, Lindsay. None. Not one. Never done a daggum thing to you besides say I'm not your friend. We're like, I don't consider you a close friend and you're a sub. We don't because we barely talked. And that's all it took. And you've been on my ass running your mouth about my kids ever since. So kiss my ass and take several effing seats. Miss, you want to pimp out a 20 year old fucking pervert? Don't get me split. That's why I didn't go live when I'm like that woman. Oh. But she says it everywhere she fucking can. So I'm just going to prove it once and for all, I feel. But then again, I'm fighting myself. The link to Generator's channel. Give me one second. Let me find it for you. Because I was just watching it earlier. There it is. And he hasn't uploaded in a while. Sorry, that was for his channel. It's at generator one, two, three, four, just so you know, but let me copy and paste. I'm only going to be live till Princess gets home, but then I'm going to be uploading videos to members only uh, throughout the day, throughout the evening. But we will be going over content soon, too. Hell, fuck that. Who's the paternity of her? Let's go there. Who's her father? Maybe she should focus on that. And Sophie flat out proved you said you're a liar, Lindsay, because you absolutely said there was a cat in the wall. You absolutely said that. Stop getting on panels if you don't know how to keep, like, keep control of what you say. But you got all this judgment for everybody else about every little thing but you think you're off limits. No, ma'am. This whole thing of, again, people saying it's a sub. You can't talk about it as if we're a sub. The rules apply to all of us the same, that you can't bully, harass, threaten, dox, any of that across the board. And no one's harassing you, Lindsay. Hell, anything. Everybody tries to avoid you as much as they can. You just get a little bit of energy. I mean, a little bit of attention and you cry like a baby. What's up with what Summer Days is saying? With what? Miss Joanna. Goodness gracious. Thank you. Yeah, she said she didn't say it. She's a pig, by the way, Momo. I'll say whatever the F I want. I'm honest and you don't like that. You are you are no one in my life. I certainly don't go by what you say all about. Is she still going? You know, I always have hope that people will back up a little bit, but they never do. Let me give Miss Join another video, y'all. Let's do this. Oh, have you ever felt so good in your undercarriage that you just like stayed up till 5 a.m. to flirt with an ex villain online while your husband <laughs> was sleeping? Have you ever done that? Oh my God, this is, you're like so beautiful in real life. Oh, <laughs> John Yates, who? <laughs> Rocco's here. You want to play, little boy? I got a pool in the backyard and a swimsuit I've had since. 1984. Oh, God. Oh. I feel it. I feel it. I feel the spirit in my pants. I got to turn off my camera. I'm about to organism. Oh. I think I woke my husband up. He's going to be so mad. He's going to be so mad. Get the fuck off the internet. Oh, my God. You sound like the dude from Limp Biscuit. I am the dude from Limp Biscuit. Get the fuck off. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hi guys, it's fine. Everything's fine, y'all. Everything's fine. Um, Wait, is someone jizzing themselves? And where's your husband? Oh, 
in the yard oh. taking down a fence. I'll be out in 10 minutes. Two thousand. Oh, tell him I said. Mm, tell him I said. Lol. Mm. Chody said hi. Let, hold on, I got to tell. Hold on, I'll tell him. Oh, hey, please. hey, hey! Chody oh. said hi. Say hi. I'm on live. Don't oh, do this so, to me. Don't so embarrass sweet. me. You fuck up. Oh, so you're sweet. always on there. You said today was not a YouTube day. Oh, when mm. do we get a not YouTube day? I got a fence to take down. Okay. I got a fence to take down. You can take down that goddamn fence anytime you want. You always pick the inopportune times. I've only been live for 11 hours today. I was drunk last night, but I was willing to give a beach. I was willing. Oh, it would have been one of them sloppy ones where you just fall asleep on my wiener. You thought I don't like a sloppy beach. You on my wiener. We've been together 10 years. Act like it. Act like it. Oh, you act like it. Now you have these new friends and lusting after rock all with some gay guy. All of a sudden, you believe in gay marriage? I didn't say that. Oh. I never said that. Oh my God. He was just like, uh, he's just like, don't forget my gay grenade. So, uh, my God. It's crazy. It's so crazy. Uh, you know, marriage, 10 years. It's just like we have so much sex. Are you going to say you're sorry too? What? What? When I had this you said I was here calling from the same school numbers that you were saying I was calling on? Oh. oh, Jason's getting mad. He said, shut up, John. <laughs> too good, man. Too effing good. So that is to say thank you to Miss Joanna Tubby, which I hope he's doing well. I really hope he's doing well. Thank you, Miss Joanna. As you should, I'm a patriot, not a dem or rep, although I was forced to pick in order to vote. I don't care if you're a vet or not. If you are online talking a ton of ish, you'll get it back. As you should. Since when to be the veteran give you a pass to say any nasty things they want without a response? Who? Who is the veteran that is talking all this smack about everyone and thinking they're off limits because of their service? Honestly. It's not how it works, y'all. Just don't be. Look, you can have opinions about us. I, I'm talking about creators. Subs to creators. You can have opinions about us. No big deal. It comes with church where we understand. But when you start saying you want to pimp out my 20 year old and you're 40 something and you say you want my child to be your baby daddy and you talk about my child's, my daughter's paternity and make these accusations that are nowhere near the effing truth, you're going to get it back. And you talk all that shit about Sophie's whole family too. So what do you expect? Honestly, you've gotten, you've been getting a green pass and gotten away with shit for far too long, Miss Lindsay. You are nobody besides all cats and how like so many people are so annoyed by you and all your damn cats. But it's not even that. They just are tired of your mouth, too, because you say reckless shit. Even Savage had to get on you because you were disgusting with the things you said about my child. But now we're on that subject. Let's get on to the next subject. Someone messaged me. I had not been on my Instagram in probably a month, I would say, until like maybe two days ago, I went on there and checked back, back, back on again. Uh, but I go in there and look and I see a message from someone that probably one of the last people you'd expect to message me and to talk about reels passing and don't. I want to out who you are, but don't. Don't use his passing to talk to me and act like you got a heart and soul when you were on there playing the interview of my ex-husband, when you were on there talking all the shit about my son, when you were all there talking all the shit about my daughter. With, don't, don't do that. Well, don't do that when you put up DW's picture for the whole entirety of your stream to purposely trigger PTSD. You hoped it didn't work because I've already gotten through that shit, but you hope that's what what's going to do. Don't use that passing to do that. Give me a second. Hold on, y'all. Let me chat with Princess real quick.
Sorry about that, y'all. Had to ask her how her day was. Hey, Muggsy. How are you? Hey, Sam. Muggsy, good to see you. Are you still grumpy with me and JJ or are we cool now? Good Lord. Look, I think people just get, you know, wrapped up in it. That's all. Um, but JJ, this is about Sophie. Sophie went back at Captain Navy vet after many nasty comments from her. Maria said that you can't go back at a veteran no matter what. Or will this happen? No, people are crazy. They're so crazy. I went to court and everyone was wearing pajamas and no one had their bras on. And the judge said, all your people suck and all my people are awesome. And they, you know, basically were, were like, oh, hey, you win. You're the smartest. You're the best. You clearly are totally sane. And everyone going against you is not. And everyone had their cleavage out, their boobs out. And I hate boobs and I hate cleavage and I hate everybody. And uh, yeah, so I got an RO against this person. I got an RO against this person. I got an RO against half of YouTube. So watch out. Don't talk about me. Don't say nothing. But I can say all that I want. And the judge was like, your side's cool. And their side's not cool. And you're the best. So I don't know. I'm like, I'm married. So I don't know. Like, get a husband or something. But don't bring up my 70-year-old kids. If you do, then I can do what I got to do. I can do what I got to do. Okay? So... But I have a husband. I'm going on vacation. Don't. One second, y'all. Sorry about that, but that that old clip, by the way, Momo was talking about the cleavage was about me because uh, I was wearing this to go get my haircut. Princess was getting a haircut to get ready for school. And I was like, you know what? I'm already here. Let me just go get a few inches off. My hair's so long. I had to stand up the whole time so they could reach the bottom of my hair. That's kind of crazy. But they took off about four inches and my hair still is too way too long, but it's a little more manageable. <laughs> no i look i look really rough but it was just i just have to wear the shirt so i'm like fuck it oh but we can do actually no I, I don't care i'm not even gonna give them that satisfaction i am only going wait i only hate two people i am not gonna mention names <laughs> and then you mention the names that's funny her being a vet just so well here's the thing i'll say this about that cat lady they say she's got dementia and everything or, or sundown or something, something to that effect. Um, so I do understand that she isn't mentally all there. So that's the only reason I don't say anything about her, but you do say some really foul, foul shit lady. <laughs> you really, really, really do. And doesn't just because you're going through it doesn't mean you could go on and just be hateful as hell. I've done lives before I went on. I just, not, I'm not comfortable on camera. Never have been, never will be. That is, everybody's like, oh, here, let's do that. Everybody's like, oh, you don't, um, I just, I'm not comfortable on camera. It may, it, my anxiety, like I'm already, my hands are already shaking because I went on camera just for a little bit. It just bothers me. I can't donate my hair to Locks of Love Val because my hair has died. They won't take it. I've offered. I'm going to give a damn about someone that served in the military. She don't give a damn, look. She has attacked so many people who have been veterans before that this whole rules for thee, not for me bullshit is really out of control. Yeah, they said that about Cat too. Well, Debbie, yeah, Debbie and Cat are the ones that are in our community that supposedly have both. And again, they don't need to prove one way or the other whether they have it or not. It's not not my business to that effect. But just be, just be more cognizant of the things you say and how hurtful they can be. Like I said, just because you are dealing with that doesn't mean you could go online and just be the biggest asshole on earth because you are dealing with some stuff. Mental excuse, mental health is not a reason to be that bad. I mean, that's just hateful. Y'all are just flat out hateful over there. It was. It's been a long time, Tinhead. I haven't done it in a long time because again i'm just not comfortable on camera there's nothing wrong with the way i look it's just the way i feel she posted children so she could f right off about not responding to a better girl 
Hopefully she quit posting kids. I haven't heard of Momo posting kids in a minute. I'm hoping she's done with all that, but she did post Raken's ch uh, child last we knew. So uh, that wasn't even that long ago. It feels a long time ago now, but it wasn't even that long ago. I, I want to get going, but Princess Friend isn't here yet. She would say that when she would be caught saying one thing in one chat and the opposite in another chat. Well, let me just start doing that then. <laughs> Maybe we should start doing that. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I don't know. I don't know how to navigate it when people have these Alzheimer's, dementia, sundowners, whatever it is they have. And she does. Sophie, she does. She said some pretty really foul things about me, too. So I am I believe what y'all are saying. Right, Blue. The more color said cat has dementia, too. I heard that from, I didn't hear that from Mosquito because I don't watch Mosquito, but I've heard that them say that in um, either Selflo or Chicago Muscles chat where they said that she has dementia. I've got a traumatic brain injury from all the concussions where my memory is actually altered. So can I now go around and say anything of the sun so you can't, can't respond? Just, I don't know. Seems like a cop out in my opinion. Or if that is true and these ladies have that going on, Momo, maybe when you see them getting out of line, be like, calm down. Like, that's too far. Don't say that. Or delete the comments when they go too far. Just, just a thought. Because if you know they're going to get the backlash for those horrible things, maybe and you you don't want them to get the backlash then maybe not host it where they could just say anything and any like everything and anything under the sun and cop out to it thank you tenhead i appreciate that i really appreciate that i'm a vet and i don't tell anyone those who know me know him. right i know sam i know but have y'all talked to broke snows recently is she is she doing okay I haven't seen her in a minute. Again, I haven't been live very much, but I said, try to reach out to her on Instagram and try to call her to check in with her. But I think she was at work. But if she does, I'm sure she'll watch this later. So I hope you're okay. I've been thinking about you. Her, Miss Joanna, um, Suzanne, Generator, Jade, love you, girl. But those are the ones I constantly think about and worry about because I know they're always they're going through a lot of stuff in life. Yeah. It's like I said JJ maybe I can now start using that excuse because I've got a TBI and PTSD and my my memory's fucked up. So there's that. And by the way, y'all, my aunt watches my, my streams now, so she'll probably catch the replay. So y'all should say hi to my aunt. Make her feel special. But like I said, last time she tried, well, she goes, I don't know any of the crap you're talking about. I was like, I actually would prefer if family didn't watch, but I ain't got much to say outside of that, y'all. Uh, I do. There's stuff I want to say, but. I know it's not going to do any good. Like, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Jade's been leaving comments under my, Jade usually catches the replay because of time difference guys. So, but she leaves comments. Like uh, when I, when I picked up that grub or whatever, I still don't, my aunt responded to y'all remember when I, I was showing the videos of me in the river and I picked up that warm looking thing. I was like, what the hell is this? Because I know about like potato bugs that look like that, but they're always in the dirt. So this was in the river, freaked out when I took it out of the river. And I don't, potato bugs don't do that. Grubs don't do that, I thought. But people said grubs. But my aunt said it's it's what turns into, was it Katie Dids or however you say that word? Katie Dids, Katie Dids, whatever. She said that's what that is. She's okay, just has a lot going on. Aww. Well, she's missed and thought about and loved, and I hope she's okay. Thank you, Sassy. Hey, Sassy, good to see you. 
Thank you, everyone. That said hi to my aunt. I'll let y'all know if she watches it. She she'll message me and let me know. She's like, I saw you went shopping. What'd you get? Nothing. I got nothing. Everything's too expensive. Not not that stuff's too expensive, but I had to get school clothes, so I got nothing. I will I will get uh, Halloween stuff next month. Well, this month when I get paid. I already have the uh, place decked out a little bit for Halloween. I wish I could show you guys. Oh, look, look. I'm going to show you something. Look at the decals I got on my wall. It goes cute with my other stuff. Can you see it? Can you see those decals on the wall? And there's cute. I got some more ravens to put above the other pictures because I got these paintings. And I want some ravens that are going to go like go up the on the top of it. I don't like, I don't know. It just looks a little too blank for me. I don't know. I just thought ravens throughout would look cute. But that decal, I thought was going to be a lot bigger. It definitely is not. Right blue. Bullshit. But I'm going to get going. Uh, Princess, I mean, I can sit here and hang out with y'all, but the, like I said, the stuff I want to say, I'm just going to save it for members only, probably. Uh, and like I said, I'll be uploading videos later on today, and I'll be on members. So here's the thing. I have three tiers, as y'all know. The top tier is Boss Witch, and there are things that I share over there that I don't share on the other stuff, like that are really personal. So that's top level Boss Witch, which if you need a spell, you get like half off, but you can't be like a, one of my stalkers or haters of mine. I'm not going to like it. That's to my discretion. And it says it in the description. It is up to my discretion, whether I help you because I don't, I'm not going to do it for ask like a holes, you know, but that's top tier. Second tier is replay crew, AKA baby, Witch. and so anytime my streams are done, I usually put it on my replay crew. So y'all can watch it without commercials and without having to wait for it to process for everybody else. So that's my replay crew. So that's second tier. So that stuff goes over there. And then, of course, the bottom tier is all the emojis. And you get to chat in the members only streams. Um, but for instance, uh, when I did content the other day, I put it all on uh, Baby Witch replay crew, second tier, and left it there for a day. And the next day, I moved it down to all members. Or I think it was a few days later, I put it on all members. But um there's a lot there's just stuff I put over there. So when, today when I go out and about and record stuff, that's where, where, where it will be going. It will be going either second tier or all members and where I can speak a little bit more candidly. I wanted to pop up on your panel the other day when you and Geneva were chatting, but I was out getting school stuff. I had like I spent three or four days going out trying to get school stuff and then Hell, the supplies were all picked through, of course. That's my own fault, but that's when I had time to go do it. I've been so freaking busy. And then every time I plan to go live, that okay, for instance, yesterday I wanted to go live last night. So I was like, I'm going to get in the bath about eight o'clock, take a bath for two hours just to relax for the moment. And then I'm going to get out and do a stream last night, members only. I fell asleep. I fell asleep, didn't wake up to like one. So that didn't work because most of y'all are asleep by then. So I, I didn't. So even if I plan it, sometimes I just can't, I can't stay awake. So I do apologize. It's not, it sucks. And I always feel so much guilt not being here. I really do. And I don't want to let you guys down. And I know when I went to Sophie's and I said, I was going to go live that night, but then I had to go out and go do stuff with a friend. She needed some help with something. So I couldn't do it that night. It's just, it's, it's just really busy. And I hate, like I said, I hate to let you, you guys down. I don't mean to. And I really hope you all understand. But I am, I think the majority of my content when I'm not doing streams, because like say I don't have time to do hour live stream, two hour live stream, whatever. I'll make content when I'm out and about, like the shopping videos or out in the river enjoying nature or just a little video to upload, just check in with y'all and speak. Like, I don't think I'm going to be doing that as many live streams as I would like, obviously, but I am going to be do to start doing more content. Um, Blue has something to say. I'm going to let him have his time. He's done. You done? Yeah, he's done. Uh, but it'll be on the, it'll be on memberships. So, 
but I tried to move it down eventually because I know not everybody can afford membership. So even if I do, let's say in two weeks, all the stuff I have on members, I'll try to move it down to everyone. Not everything, but a lot of it. But I do enjoy your streams. I, I Y'all been kicking butt. And there is someone that is making a lot of threats towards you, Rakin, and anybody that supports you. I don't know if you heard that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Blue's been tripping out. He's been dancing a lot more. Blue has. He's been dancing a lot more. He has this thing in his cage where it's a, it's something that birds, so birds need to chew on things to keep their beak sharp. And so I went and got this. It's, it's just this thing on a rope that you hang on the cage and they just pick at it or whatever. He was going to it and chewing on the rope part to, that was hang, keeping it hanging. And I was like, Blue, no. And so he'd leave and every time I turn around, he'd go right back to it and start grabbing it again. And I keep chewing them out like blue, knock it off. But he knows what he's doing. He knows how to, he, I feel like he knows what I'm saying and is purposely doing stuff just to irritate me. Not in a bad way. I think it's funny. I think it's hilarious, but he has, I think he's, I think he knows a lot of the stuff. I, I know he knows his name, but he's been dancing a lot more, playing a lot more. He's been hanging upside down from the top of his cage. <laughs> He's been losing his mind. I would love to have a live with you to pick your brain about all things, witchy, spiritual, energy, psychic, etc. I actually plan to do that on Sam's. I keep saying I need to be on Sam's, but every time I, it's so hard to find time, but I definitely want to do that on Sam's. And I'm sure he would invite you up too, if you want to do it there, because this, when I do one of those streams, I definitely, I owe it to him. I promised him. It's just, the schedules are, our schedules are so different. And usually by the, when I finally do have time, he's not on or he's busy because he's working and, but we're trying. But when I do go to Sam's, I will send you the link so you can come up and we can do it all there because Sam's channel is all things spiritual. If you don't know, and he's building a portal box, by the way, y'all know the portal boxes, like people use like Mexi. I think that's that guy's name where he he does all the true crime cases where he tries to reach out to people that are missing, which I think is a little bit messed up, in my opinion, because that family, like they don't have answers. I don't know. That's, I'm not going to keep that to myself right now. But Mexi, he uses a portal box, but Sam's got the stuff and he's building one. And those things are usually 300 bucks or I would have already had one. But those come in clear as clear as can be uh, versus the spirit box that we used. And I had the handheld, the app, the speakers. I've got all that, but it's just not easy. Y'all can't hear it very well on the handheld. So that's why I do the other one. I know, Reagan, I heard the threats. I heard the threats. <laughs> so you heard, it, it's clear you you ladies heard what, I, what I'm talking about. Let me get some tea. I'll take you guys with me. That. I don't even know why they're still mad about that, Rakin. Like, I don't, y'all aren't even doing content about said individuals. So, why do they even care? I don't even know why they got their, their sights on you. I mean, don't they have all these other battles with other people? I don't understand it. But I, I, I did get really pissed off at the allegation of I'm trying to make money off of Reels Passing. Again, where the fuck is that coming from? And to sit here and say that no that nobody gave a shit about Real till he passed, you don't know what you're talking about. Because Cindy and JJ were talking to Real and fixed it and patched things up weeks before he, he passed, probably even a month before he passed. Okay, so there's that. that. So that's bullshit. Uh, they were already on good terms and talking and everybody was being supportive of each other. So that's bullshit. And 
I hope you won't even insinuate shit about me because I will lose my mind on that. Don't even go there. Don't even fucking go there. Because I would have never even fell out with real the second time if it had not been for fucking Jackie and her lies about him. Four total break in. It's been a depressing few weeks. What what's four total what? Oh, the pups. Oh, that's sad. Look, I've had the wrath of Reagan. And I wouldn't, Summer. And I wouldn't. I would not do that. If anything, the only thing I mentioned with money and his passing is that for his daughter's birthday, if we could get, if AT2 asked the family and they're okay with it, if I could get a cash out for the, for the mother of his daughter, every year on her birthday, I would like to send money just to, you know, just in his honor, because I know he would if he could. And always, Sarah, always. You know it. She can't help herself. But she got, if y'all, like, nothing in her life has gotten better. So you think she'd focus a little bit more on that? Can't relate. And not worry about my daughter doing artwork. How fucking insane are you that I share my daughter's artwork because I'm proud of it. And you turn it into something fucked up. What is wrong with you, lady? I don't understand it. I... I really don't understand it. How you have so much hate that you can't even, that you got to ruin every little enjoyment when it comes to my, my child. I don't get you. I, and I never want to, because I'm not built the way you are. I never want to be like you. You are nothing to aspire to. No. And those that don't know, anytime real went live, I was, I was sending stuff to help out when he needed it. I couldn't do much of course, but I was always trying to help him out. But I knew it was too good to be true to think that people would take down their live streams of trashing him. I knew that was too good to be true. Like I said, I went to go look up his name um, after we all found out. And one of the things that popped up was one of those hateful ass videos. And so anybody else that goes looks up his name, want to find, you know, information to pay the respects or whatnot. That's what they're going to see. That, But of course, that's too good to be true. Oh, it's very mean and evil. I don't get it. Well, here's the thing. The, like, never mind. I'm not even get. But trying to compare you to Muzz, I, I don't understand that part. But go ahead. And Geneva, I saw that you made a report on Muzz's brother for violating, um his privilege as an employee to go digging on you for his stalking sister, sister-in-law, which, which is shocking to me, Muzz. I didn't know you had siblings. I did not know you had siblings. You, on the other hand, you know everything about me uh, and you even know how to get a hold of my sister and have. So there's that. But I didn't even know you had siblings. That's how little I cared. But you act like an only child. You act like you have to have the attention on you at all times or you throw a fit. He does it. It breaks my heart. I'm pissed after what I heard. So I came in. Hello to you. Although. Oh, so that live was happening right when I went live. Always, Summer. She she makes assumptions on every fucking thing. And if I don't spill every detail of what I'm talking about, she fills it in herself with bullshit conspiracies. Like, I don't know how people can stand listening to her. She has lied so much to people. Those screenshots, messages of me talking to family, friends, whatnot, going back 20 years where I proved that I was never promiscuous, that I didn't do anything, like any of the shit I was being accused of, that I did actually get close to dying, that I did have to decide where my kids were going to go uh, because I was dying, all that shit. Like I told y'all fucking happened. Um, those messages are 100% legit and real. I didn't alter anything besides hide who the person was because that's their, their right. I'm not, I'm not helping people dox 
friends and family of mine so y'all could go harass them. But I didn't edit anything else out of there's no, those are legit the messages. And the only way I could prove to y'all those are legit is if I go through my Facebook messenger and find the messages and show you as it's happening. And I'm not doing that because you can't do that without doxing them. I'm not doing that. So take it as you can. But those who have common sense and those who don't just focus on hate with everything they think, those were real messages. I have been telling y'all telling the truth about the stuff I've been saying. All those that bullshit allegations that Psycho Amy made about me are completely false. And I have the messages to prove it. Where's their messages proving that it's the other way around, that I was so promiscuous that uh, I had to be switched to another school because I couldn't keep my legs closed, which makes no damn sense. I could go back four or five years ago, tell my son that maybe he should consider going to a charter school because I went to it to skip get through school fast and i loved it not oh my parents had a simulator because i was you know it's just stupid shit that don't make sense i disproved every fucking thing that that woman claimed and they still said oh well it they, she faked those messages like i said i've never done that in my life ever i don't i've never once in the history of me being on youtube instagram faked a message about anything that's not even a, that's not even something I would think to do. First off, that's something you maybe that's something shit you do. And I have screenshots of her saying, oh, it's so easy to fake messages. So just because you would do it doesn't mean I did it. Oh, Lord. Really, Chris? Jeez, Louise. Of course she did, but. Does it do it? Here's the thing. They would only send him money if he was trashing me. That's when they would send him money. But the second he stopped trashing me, they wanted nothing to do with him. I sent when he needed it. D didn't matter who what he was talking about. Oh, God almighty. They still going on that. That's insane. Hold on. I need to ask Prince or something. Sorry, y'all. I had to ask her to go do something real quick. Yeah, JJ, I'm sorry that they still do that. And they I don't even know how they keep. There's a difference between having a few drinks to enjoy yourself and depending on it. And nobody would even care if that was the case with so-and-so person if they weren't so vicious when they did. But that's neither here nor there at this point. It's a damn joke. She can say as much as she wants, but she needs to understand that the second I lose a single penny from that lie, it's on. And I believe you, JJ. I believe it. And people thinking you're scared of having conversations or scared to confront people about things they say. What world is JJ scared of doing that? Honestly, when have y'all seen her shy away from clicking a link and telling her, telling you exactly how they feel, how she feels. Ew, that's disgusting. Who drinks the, sorry, I don't mean to judge. I'm beer is nasty to me. Nasty, nasty, nasty. But I really ain't got much to say. I do need to get going. Me and Princess got stuff to go do. She went to go get her friend real quick. So she could they could go with us i seriously have had my daughter's friend she's practically lived with us for the past week i kid you not she probably stayed five nights with us out of the week 
it's been crazy. But gotta go get her again. Well, like I said, Blitz Chris, it's not even about just the addiction, it's about how hateful they get, how evil they get. I don't understand it. I, I just could not fathom. And thank you, 90 Days on Crack Reddit, for letting me know that that's what was going on. But I can't. I was so shocked. They're like, she turned Siwa sharing her daughter's artwork into something evil and fucked up. How do you even. I, I don't want a brain like that. I'll tell you that much. I don't want a brain where you're just think evil shit about people 24-7. And then claiming you're such a happy, I got a happy life again. Raken, Raken and Geneva and a few others, no, that's not true. And I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that. I would say pay attention to Raken's streams, y'all, because I got, I, I know she's got some info about some shit. Talk about stalker. Oh, she's got a lot of close friends and she's doing great. Uh, she is such a trip seeing her dressing like a teenager, you know, it freaks me out. But she, of course, at that time, but she's starting to want to work. She always, she's always wanted her hair up in a bun. That's just been her thing. As long as I remember, she does not like her hair down. She doesn't like her hair on her neck. So she's always wanted her hair up in a bun. But now she's like, mom, keep up my hair up halfway. Mom, I'm going to wear my hair down tomorrow, whatnot. And it she never used to do that. And she's wearing jewelry now. And it's just weird. It's weird. But I guess someone, she wouldn't be a good enough teenager unless she was going out in crop tops. You know. <laughs> like some people think. Crystal, how's she handling it? That has to be a shock. That has to be a big shock for her. How's she handling it? You know what pisses me off? Is the school only so I y'all remember was it last year or the year before I got her a bulletproof backpack? Um, it was after the Yavaldi situation happened. I got her a bulletproof backpack, which was two hundred dollars because it has to be one that's strong enough to withstand an AK. So I got her that bulletproof backpack, y'all spent two hundred bucks on it, and then sc the school she's at only wants her to do clear backpacks, which is bullshit. So it was a clear backpack going to do. Here's my thing. So they're like, that way we could see if there's any weapons in the backpack. You could say that, but some of these clear backpacks, like they have, they're the mesh backpacks. Some of the kids have, and they're, when they're dark colored, you can't see anything in that backpack. You could easily hide something in that backpack just as much as you could a regular one. So that's not protecting from shit. All it is is making sure that she can't be protected behind a bulletproof bag. Which shouldn't even be a thing we have to do, by the way, but it is. So, like, I had to tell her to take the, the, what's it called? The shield, whatever, on it. Yes, a bulletproof backpack. Yes, ma'am, Bow. That's what we have to do now in the United States to ensure our kids are safe. But, like I said, now the school, the school she's at this year um, won't let her have her backpack. It can only be clear. JJ, back to school is kicking our, my ass this year. I got maybe three pairs of pants, five t-shirts, and a hoodie. You would in shoes, of course, socks, shoes, normal stuff, and then this, a little bit of supplies. You wouldn't believe how much it costs. Everything is insane. I remember back when to get take my son's school clothes shopping. If I spent two hundred, he had so much shit. Not now. Can't do that now. Wait, your youngest got his real estate license? You go, girl. That's amazing. Way to go. Way to go, everyone. I don't like it, but she is so much happier. She hated me. That's good that she likes it, Crystal. That's that's awesome. I know it's got to be nerve-wracking to you, though. No, I didn't know there was a lot of huff and puff about the bulletproof backpack. What was the issue with me getting that? What my child safe? Who had an issue with it? Well, never mind. We know who had an issue with it. But what was the issue with me making sure my daughter was going to be safe? Hey, Julie, how are you? 
Yeah, but see, like with the clear, like I said, if it was if everybody had the plastic clear bags, then I could see how it's safer. But the these students are getting these mesh backpacks that are dark colored and you can't see anything in it. And they're not stopping the kids and checking. So it's not any safer than a, another bag. Like I said, I told her to take the shield out of her bulletproof backpack and put it in the other one, which I don't know how much good it's going to do. Because if you don't know the size of these shields, it's the size of the backpack. There's only, I mean, she's small. She's really skinny and tall or whatnot, but she, she could hunker down behind it, but it just sucks. I just, I really felt safer with her having it. And now I don't, I don't feel that security anymore with her having it. It's some scary stuff, Crystal. And I don't think the whole school thing is going to get better anytime soon, unfortunately. But Julie, I'm glad you're a, a member already. I'm going to be doing some members only content throughout the day. And probably throughout the weekend. But like I said, I do think instead of doing just streams, uh, some of them are going to be. Well, let me see if Miss Joanna messaged me yet. Some of them are just going to be me doing like a 10 minute uploaded, a, a 10 minute re pre-recorded video and uploading it and just speaking what I want to talk about and checking in and seeing how y'all are doing. Oh, generator just uh, uploaded another one. But I think I'm going to be doing that a lot more since I don't have the time like I used to, to just go live whenever I wanted. Uh, Princess needs to hurry. Miss Joanna, I don't have a message from you yet, hon. But she's going through some stuff. But Julie, it's so good to see you. And I did see that y'all were making comments about the uh, earrings, which one favorites. I think I have a videos on public right now but let me see let me check i really wish some more creators would spend time to going out and doing shit with their kids instead of focusing on me or focusing on raking or focusing on, I mean, just go out and do some more shit. It's kind of depressing that nobody in our community really does that very much. It's quite sad. People should be out and enjoying life and making memories with their kids, but no. Making memories is, never mind, I'm not going to say what I want to say. Their version of making memories is blank. I pray it gets better too, Crystal. All right, y'all. So I'm going to get going. My makeup's done. Um, I'll, like I said, just pay attention to the notifications. Make sure they're on because for the members, well, I don't know how it works on the members only if y'all get notified of everything I upload on those tiers. But if you see one uploaded on the second tier, don't fret because I, I will move it to the bottom tier like the next day or the day after that. No, what'd you say about the shopping videos? Did you leave it on the, like, did you put it in the chat or are you talking about you put it under the videos? I see comments about Katie Joy. Let me see. I see Shyla, Miss Wendy, Angela. I see y'all's comments about the earrings. Oh, and by the way, Chris, thank you so much for the $5 super thanks. I appreciate you. I really do. I appreciate you. And when I do any Halloween shopping, I'll upload, I'll do some content videos of what's out there. Um, that's the kind of stuff I like. I like watching videos of people going and showing all this stuff to buy for Halloween or just to decorate and showing the prices and everything. So you kind of know what's out there. So you know what you want. But Jay does leave in comments, y'all. So she's doing good. She's just, like I said, the time difference. I see less comments. Miss Joanna's. I see all your comments saying happy birthday to my son. Yeah, I didn't see it. I love them and I hope you'll do more. I will. I definitely will be doing more videos like that if y'all are enjoying them. I love that. Stuff. I mean, I love, love, love the Halloween stuff. And like I said, Martha Stewart is kicking ass with her decorations this year, which like I said, who would have thunk it that Martha Stewart would be the queen of Halloween decor? 
Now the costumes, I won't be doing too much with, I'll show y'all costumes or whatnot if you want, but we don't really do many for Halloween. Last year, Princess dressed up as a doctor. Um, and I, I have my robe that I wear every year because it's the robe that I got invoked in into hoodoo. And every year I wear it as part of celebrating. This year will be my 10th year as a hoodoo practitioner being invoked. So I got to do something big for, for that this year. But I really wish I, sometimes I really wish I was in a coven still. But I know a lot of, here's the thing about also with those shopping videos. A lot of people can't go out there. Like some people are disabled and they can't leave the house and go do shopping. You know, um, I have a family member that can't do it. She can't leave the house and go shopping. So I feel like those videos let them live a little bit, like live it vicariously through the videos where they get to, they get to the, the feeling of being out shopping, but they can't do it. You know what I mean? Or some people who can't afford it and they just want to see what's out there. So I try. Girl, I saw your costumes. That's crazy. And the way people even turn that into, oh, that was too far. It's a fucking pizza thing. Lord, get a grip. Well, I will do more of those for you guys. Please. Jade is always doing the replay comments. There's. It's almost a guarantee. And Jade's been with me for going on four years, y'all. It's almost a guarantee. You're going uh, every under every video. There's going to be a comment from Jade saying replay crew or in, I love the stream or I love the video. What? I got some school supplies. <laughs> My gosh, I'm going to put it towards school clothes, if that's okay with you. I got her some school supplies. They actually didn't want too much this year. It's just they didn't have too much on the shelves. But my gosh, Rose. Oh, so I'm being a tizzy over that. <laughs> Thank you. I will put it towards her clothes, though. It's like I said, we got her five things, five shirts, hoodie, and three pairs of pants, so. I'll put it towards that if that's okay with you. Thank you. My gosh. Let's do a little video to thank her for that. I have quite a bit of uh, accreditations. So, uh, cheerio. Hello. Hello, busy. Okay. I didn't want to make this about me. Didn't want to do it. Didn't want to do it. But um, here's the thing. When things get sad, I don't mean to be contrite or trite or contralt or a mm. trout. I don't mean to be a trout about it. Okay. Right. Or a trout's mouth. Okay, but when things get dark, they will always get light. Okay. Darkness will become lightness, and lightness okay. will become darkness. Okay. So I really care about you. I've been oh. in the bushes for a long time. I am the stank, the stanky stank, stank fish. Okay. And I've been in the bushes for a long time, and I have 7,000 certifications that I want you to know that when there is dark, there will be light. And I love you. And I love you. And I love you. Cheerio. I have, I don't want to bring this up again, but I have lots of certifications and qualifications and more than is good for me. Feeble. And Damn it, I'm so sorry. I promised myself I wouldn't do this. <laughs> But I've been, I can't stand by and see your name in a newspaper. <laughs> I can't stand by and see your name on a website because you've done well. <laughs> I must tell you, when there's dark, there will be more dark. <laughs> oh, that escalated quickly. I thought there was light. And it will get darker. Hey, what is it? Again? What is it? Hello, Scott 76 Diesel. Hello, MTV. Hello, Daddy's Disappointment. I'm sorry. I wasn't listening. I was listening, thinking what I was going to say next about my certifications. You can take oh. my stank away. Yes. Thank you, Fish. When there was dark, there will be light. Amen. Uh, I, I showed Princess what you did, Rose. Thank you. I told her it's going to go toward her school stuff. So thank you, Rose. I, we really appreciate it. Right. Right. Ow, right? Ow. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all call authorities. I'm beating her with the eye. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. She always says, I'm going to call CPS. I'm like, I'm going to call APS. 
No. I'm gonna call Sophia. Raken says, "Hey, princess." Hey. Hey. Hi. <laughs> what? Wendy says, "Hey, princess." Hey, beautiful princess. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Ow! She fell on me. Get. Ask a daddle. No. Go away. No. Go away. No. Come on, you're too big to be laying on me. Y'all know she's as tall as me, just about, and I'm five foot eight. Skip. Mm -mm. Go get your stuff, like I told you. Get up. Any help? Any be pushed? Yeah, I need. I don't want you to fall though. All right, go get dressed, please. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Rose. Like, good lord. Good Lord. She got her. So the only shirts we got, we got like these. Never mind. I can't share too much shirts. We got psycho crazies. I really wish I could. There's a lot more things I wish I could share with you guys, but I can't. I hope you understand. I used to tell my daughters to call the mommy hotline. What? The mommy hotline? She's dev. I think she's definitely possibly going to hit six feet before she's done growing. She already jumped on my back. Then, great. Thank you, Tinhead. <laughs> Almost thank you. No. Yeah. It hurt. It hurt. Yeah. Don't you remember? I only got bone on me. That's true. That is true. So I can't feel pain. <laughs> <laughs> also, where's my phone and stuff? Hanging up yeah. on the curtain, the shower curtain. Okay. I'm going to take her swimming. Yeah. Yeah. Are you old? You can't get up off the couch now. You just wait. You're in for a rude awakening. Oh, Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, y'all. We're going to get, go I'm going to get going. She clearly is not listening. Go get ready. Stop. Don't say that. What? Do not, don't, don't. Stop. Shush. When I was a teen, I told my mom I was going to run away, and she drove my ass to the teen run away. I remember my dad would give me ice cream one time. I was like, that's it. I'm running away. So I packed up my stuff, my stuff from my little sister, which were like, I'm talking about seven, eight years old, packed up my stuff. And I was like, we're leaving, and I'm taking my sister with me. And we were walking down the road, and my dad was pulled up in the Suburban. I mean, this we're talking about, we're talking about the 90s, okay, early 90s. and he pulled up and he was like, y'all come on back home. I said, no, I'm running away. You won't give us ice cream. And so my dad told my sister, he's like, you come home, I'll give you ice cream. And I was like, don't listen to him. He's tricking you. And she's like, okay. And ran back into the vehicle. Well, I wasn't going to run away on my own. So of course I had to go home. <laughs> my dad was such a good dad. I had really good parents. Thank you, Raken. I appreciate. I appreciate that. People are really harsh with me on me as a mom, and I. I think I. I do a damn good job. Yes, I struggle. I do. If I had more help, I wouldn't struggle, obviously. But I, I make do, and we are happy. She's in a home that's got a lot of love, no drama, no anger, no cop calls, no violence, no nothing. She's in a home of love, and we go do stuff, even if it's just going outside and enjoying nature. We go have fun. So. Uh, maybe some people should aspire to be more like that instead of judging every little thing I do because I don't have as much material items as you do. We're happy. You're and you're not going to take that or ruin that. Oh, hold on. Come in. Hold on. All right, y'all. Her friend's here, so we got to get going. Thank you so much, Rose. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Again, 10 memberships were gifted away. I got five more the once I get my car situation figured out. But Miss Joanna sent 40 from one from her, one from her hubby. Miss Joanna, thank you. And again, please message me on TikTok so we can talk about it. And Rose, like, my gosh, honey. That will go towards that, and I will send you the receipts to prove it if you need me to. But we don't get till the 21st, so just it's going to be a little bit, but I will prove it to you if you need me. Wait, I threat my kids with adoption, so they appreciate me. <laughs> Look, kids always think they have it hard until they 
see how other kids have it, you know. But I'll upload some videos while I'm out and about, guys. It'll be on the members, the membership tiers. So just be on the lookout for that. Reagan, I hope you go live soon. And y'all, please just check with Reagan and Sophie. They're going live a lot. I know Cindy's going live. JJ, I don't know the last time you went live, but all if you haven't subbed to those channels, sub to those channels. Sam even. Sam goes live a lot. And he's his stream is chill. He talks about a lot of paranormal. They just hang out and chat and it's feel good energy. So if you just need something to do and somewhere to talk, go over there even. Um, I don't know if I have the link to I need to put Sam's link in my videos, but just look up exploring with Sam. Let me see if that's it. Hold on. See what the real name is. I think it's exploring TV, but let me make sure, guys. Oy vey. Hold on. And I don't think Sam's in here anymore. I called him on the phone last night. He's been dealing with the, some troll bullshit. So, okay, I can't find it, but it's exploring with Sam TV. It's what I think it is. You should be able to find it that way. But anyway, sub to those channels if you haven't, guys, so you can have something to do. Yeah, I'm going to go have fun with, with Princess, y'all. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate everybody, and I appreciate the support. Y'all are amazing, and I really, really appreciate y'all understanding that I, I want to be here. I'm just I'm having a hard time finding the time to do it, but y'all have been more than understanding, so thank you so much. Look, look, look at there. Crystal dropping Rakin's channel, and then Rakin dropping Sam's channel. See? Exploring with Sam TV. But he needs some love and support, y'all. He's been dealing with some BS. And he is such a good person. Him and Adam are a lot alike. So if you like Adam's energy, you'll like Sam's energy. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good day, good night, wherever you are. Leave some, as you already see, rainbow emojis in the chat because we're proud allies. And I will see y'all on members only soon. Well, again, just uploaded content. But I'll talk to y'all soon, guys. Bye. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, baby, you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed, thinking something out of my Play dead, will you regret everything that you did, that you said I don't think you understand what you're doing And my heart's black and blue from the bruising I feel like when I'm with you I'm losing I feel like you think that this amusing Sitting there gaslighting and confusing Was it me, is it me, am I deluded? I'm the one who's always sorry, the conclusion